Welcome guys, I'm back y'all with another video. So this is going to be a collective read guys. I'm actually going to use the Millennial Oracle deck here and I'm going to clarify with the tarot. All right, so let's see what messages we got. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Be happy to have you here with us. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe so you won't miss the notifications. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. All right, so y'all know, I already know how we do. All right, so let's jump into it. All right, so we already got a jumper. I'm shaking my head. All right, so the energy already is like somebody shaking their head. There's a disappointment or somebody feeling like they made a stupid move. Okay. Wow. Oh, we got slut shaming. All right. So expressing their sexuality, shaming, feeling judged, double standard, casual sex. Okay. Somebody, somebody has a nice body here. Somebody got a real nice body. Very attractive. We got squad. All right, and we got squad. This squad got no chill. <laughs> the squad trying to be influencers. And their influence game is like being on fleek, having a little smart look, get backs or whatever. Um, but yeah, like... Somebody's whole squad is some jump offs. <laughs> Somebody's whole squad is some straight up jump offs. Like they use their bodies for attention. They're often judged. They maybe sleep around. And you could be looking at this like shaking my head, like what type of BS is this. Like, I ain't never seen nothing like this before. All right. So, we got shipping. Somebody's doing this um, because they want to stay in a partnership. Shipping is they believe in a relationship, wishing you to stay, wishing you stay together, rooting for a partnership. Somebody's slick throwing shade. Slick throwing shade. Okay. So, some, there's some shade throwing going on. Yeah. Like, I'm getting, like, put on blast. So, out loud... There, this, this group, this squad, they just don't got no chill. This is lost your ability to act rational, no regard for others' feelings, overreacting, doing too much. Yeah, this squad, this little group, they be doing too much. They ratchet. They, they ratchet as hell. They ratchet. Big ratchet. Big ratchet. We got finesse and ratchet. They're persuasive. They like to butter up people. They slick. They are behaving reckless. They're nasty. They're unappealing. And the thing about it is, is they're a millennial. This person is young. This person got a lot of energy, too. This group, this group of people, they got a lot of energy. They, they, they be turned up all the time. They ain't got no chill. They ain't got no chill. A state of being wild, acting wildly, drugs, alcohol, sex at a crazy party, drunk, excited. Yeah. They could be doing this for followers. This could be an online thing. They trying to get, trying to become popular. Mm -hmm. Mm. Somebody could be getting put on blast about something that happened at a party. We got struggle is real. Hitting a rough patch, frustrated situation, not easy, trying time, setback, annoyed. This person really could be struggling. I'm telling you, this person loved to throw shade. And they I'm telling you, they is turned. They love to throw shade. But they wow and young. They wow and they young. Okay. This person is young and wow. And 
they're having doing things at parties. They're dealing with drugs, alcohol. But they always quit to throw shade. They always quit to throw shade. Tell me what else. And they salty. They salty. <laughs> they salty as hell. Because they feel like, oh, they feel like you've been flexing. And guess what? They've been watching you. They've been watching you. They've been watching you. They've been watching you. They've been watching the hell out of you. So this could be them. They disappointed. They whole little clique could be disappointed. They want to put you on blast. They may be trying to find something to put you on blast about. But the thing about it is, is this person is salty as hell. They've been throwing shade. They got their own issues, but they've been watching you. They feel like you flexing. Okay, you want to flex? Okay, all right. Watch this. <laughs> I don't know. I want to see why I'm shaking my head is here. Flatlining. Mm -hmm. So... A relationship or a situation is dying. Conversation went dead. Can't be resurrected. Can't be resurrected or lost interest. And then we got well played. So somebody got played. Something ended, and somebody's disappointed because something ended. Why is flatlining? I'm shaking my head here. Follower, your influence is invisible. Too focused on others. Supporter, admirer, believer. Okay. So somebody's disappointed because they aren't getting any followers or people aren't paying them any attention. They aren't getting any attention. Yeah, they were surprised to see. I'm telling you, somebody is, they watching you. Whatever you just posted or whatever, something that you just did, they're surprised. They feel like you flexing. They feel like you flexing on them. Yeah, they move is like they want to bounce. Maybe they want to get rid of you. They want to get you out of the picture. Why is slut shaming you? Sipping tea. Mm -hmm. So they sipping tea with their little squad. They trying to plot on. They trying to plot on you. They plotting on you. Tell me about squad. Yeah, the squad feel they feeling pressured to try to find some tea on you. Get some tea on you. Okay, because they see you got goals. They see you doing something. You got goals. So they're trying to find some tea on you. They're trying to find something on you to make you look bad. Yep, I'm telling you. You've been flexing. And this person is pissed. They could feel like you being you acting thirsty or whatever. But they're trying to find something to put you on, put put on you. Yeah, they got receipts. They looking for receipts. Or they got some receipts because they're trying to put you on blast. <laughs> they trying to put you on blast. Now we got no chill. Okay, so this person could be getting ready to like turn up. They feel like, yeah, I'm finna get ready to turn up. I'm finna turn it to my savage. Savage mode activated. And this person finna try to swerve in your lane. They about to try to swerve in your lane. They gonna try to come for you. They about to turn their little savage up. It's some gossiping going on, okay? This person's so suspicious about you. They in their feelings because they struggle. They're insecure. They're struggling with their own insecurities. Yep. About their body. Okay? So this person, you got a nice, cute body. And this person, they in their feelings because they don't. They don't have what you have. They, they don't look how you look. They can't do it how you do it. So they feel like you're trying to flex on them. Now throw shade. Filter. They're trying to throw shade and say that's just a filter. <laughs> if you've been posting pictures, they're gonna say, Oh, that's just a filter. <laughs> that's just a filter. That ain't real. That ain't how they really look. Yeah, that's their clapback. They've been throwing shade at you. 
especially because if you if you're like into spirituality they feel like you're supposed to have a certain image or look a certain way so when you do things out of the ordinary they they feel like okay well we got receipts okay they ain't they ain't supposed to be looking like that they ain't supposed to be wearing makeup they ain't supposed to be wearing those nice jogging pants and stuff like that showing the print <laughs> so now they over here salty they salty. They super salty now. They super salty. They mad. They mad as hell. Yeah, they salty. I'm telling you, this person younger than you. This person is a millennial. They younger than you. Yeah. Because they look. But <laughs> okay, boomer. Outdated opinions of somebody that's older, resistant change, out of touch, closed mind. And then we got sorry, not sorry. A remorseful bitch, you don't care. So it's like they feel like they're younger than you. They feel like you're older. This is somebody who's younger than you. This is somebody that's younger than you who's salty. They don't they don't, they salty about your aura, your energy. Like something about you is just like they can't figure it out. They trying to figure it out. They trying to figure it out. They trying to figure out how to play the game with you. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to get rid of you. Bye, Felicia. They stalking the hell out of you. They stalking the hell out of you. They watching the hell out of you. They looking at what you got on, what you wearing, how you moving, how you doing it. Um, They want to get rid of you. They feel like you need to be thrown in the trash. They want to get rid of you. Ghosted. Um, yeah, they trying to. This person, they clicking up. They clicking up. Like when they clicking up, they watch you. They got, they say they gonna put you on blast. They got receipts. They about to put you on blast, honey. They about to put you on blast. <laughs> oh, shoot now. All right, let's go to tarot. Let's see. Well, first, let's get, let's go to the Kipper deck because I want to see what we can dig up about this person. Reveal this person's energy. Reveal this person's energy. Okay. Courtship. Okay. So, this could be in regards to a lover. This could be in regards to someone that you, that you are dealing with. It got to be with something that someone that you're dealing with. So this is someone who you possibly moved on from. They got someone new and that person is just like watching you. Yeah, a mature woman. I'm telling you. And then we got male and female. See, they feel like you're older than them. They want you to move out of the way. Because they feel like you're taking what's theirs. What's... <laughs> was theirs which is this mature man or this uh woman you got message um poverty an official person somebody could be asking someone for money someone could be giving someone money this person could be giving like your ex person money unexpected income sudden wealth yep yeah. Okay, what else? Yes, they, this person this person is in love with, I feel like it could be someone that you're dealing with, like on the low, it's supposed to be something like that, or, some, or an ex, okay? This person is in love with that person. We got main male and lovers, okay? This person, they, um, this is a privileged person, a privileged lady. She trying to get in good with the family. Okay, we got a false person in family room. She trying to get in good with the family. So she could take this man. She trying to take this man. Mm -hmm. She trying to move him away or... Ooh. Yes, like, she is doing that absolute most. He, she... I told her she false. She false. We got false. See, really, she really somebody broke. 
or they got a uh, they job don't pay that much, but they pretending like they got it like that. Okay, so this person could be putting on a show to try to keep this man. Um, <laughs> so they could be trying to dig up dirt on you, trying to make you look bad. So your person, so your your person or your ex person won't want to come around or be, you know, feel like you're a threat to them. That's a damn shame. All right, tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. Who is this person? Reveal this person's energy. What is this person's intentions towards my collective? All right, see, we got the devil here at the bottom of the deck. A Capricorn could be involved, but this situation is so toxic, y'all. This person could be obsessed with you. Like, it's ridiculous. Somebody's waiting on somebody to leave. This person could be waiting for this. Uh, could be a Capricorn to walk away. This person, like, thinks about you all the time. Like, they just waiting. They just waiting. Like, that's so weird. This person is obsessed with you. <laughs> and the crazy part about it is it's not even the person that you're dealing with that is, like, doing this pushing this energy towards you is somebody that they're dealing with. All right, so we got the Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Wheel. Ten of Wands and the Hierophant, Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Yeah. <laughs> This person is so, so begging for attention. Okay, so there could be a water sign or a Taurus involved. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Tell me why the Queen of Cups is here. Two of Swords, yeah. So this person knows that your your person that you're dealing with or previously dealing with you are still on this person's mind this person could be trying to force your, force this person to like move on why is the two of swords here there's a decision nine of swords yeah and they feel threatened they, they're afraid they're scared because they are waiting for your person to walk away from you they know that your person is still holding on and this person is competing with you. It could be a queen of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but this person is definitely competing with you. This person is spying on you, okay? And it could be over a man or a woman. Take it how it resonates. But this person could be a business owner or very, um, you know, about their business, about their money, king of pentacles, nine of pentacles. This person could want this person all to themselves. Yeah, this person, they know. They know. Why is the ace of pentacles here? Knight of cups. Okay, so they accepted the offer. This person could be like a player for sure. This person can be player energy with the Emperor and the Five of Swords. Like this person is a masculine energy, okay? This person could be very pro problematic. Um, they come with a lot. They come with a lot of issues. Someone could also have like control issues. Um, but someone, your person accepted a, uh, accepted this offer, accepted an offer from them. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Ten of Cups. Okay, it was a relationship. So they accepted this relationship. That, so there was an offer on the table. They accepted the offer. Yep. 
they wanted to move forward with this relationship, this connection with this person, so they accepted the offer. I feel like your I feel like this person like kept asking this person for a relationship or kept asking them, yeah. Someone could be married, they're separated. There is a third party involved with the seven of swords and the queen of wands. This person, this third party could have been in the picture for a while. Um Now we got the wheel here. Yeah, this person feels like it's their turn. Wow. This person feels like it's their turn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this person feels like it's their turn now. This person feels like you had your turn. But at the same time, this person is feeling overwhelmed. Why is it why are they feeling overwhelmed? Some of the ten of wands here. The tower. Yeah, the tower just recently hit. The tower just recently hit. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Yep. This person, they're so burnt out. Oh. Somebody was saying that they wanted their connection to stay how it is. Somebody could have got up and all of a sudden walked out on the connection. Yeah, this person is like thinking, this, <laughs> this person is tired of taking risks because they're ending up regretting taking the risk because it's not going how they want it to go. <laughs> so they're just doing, they're overextending themselves to try to prove a point. They're overextending themselves to try to prove a point. Now, the higher thing is here, future energy. The Eight of Wands. I'm getting that there's a separation here. Somebody definitely could be separated. Four of Swords and the Hierophant and the Eight of Wands. This could be something that could have been kept a secret. Or this person thinks that they're going to get some type of proposal or to take things to the next level. Tell me more about the Four of Swords. Yeah, the devil here. It could be Capricorn, but this 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 person's about to find out. This person about to find out that the person that they're dealing with is toxic as hell. They ain't no good to nobody. They a sour patch kid. <laughs> ain't no good for nobody. This person could ghost them. Okay, because they got some things that they need to figure out on them on their own. Justice in the five of wands. They got a lot of issues within themselves. This person could be pregnant or this person is planning on putting that out that they could be pregnant. This person is trying to catch this person up. Yeah, this person is telling someone that they're pregnant. Telling this person that they're pregnant. We got the Empress in the Sun. Anytime I see the Empress in the Sun, there's talks about pregnancy. And this deaf person could be a Capri I'm sorry, a Cancer or a Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But somebody is not really in love. Okay, somebody's not. I don't. I feel like it's your person that you are dealing with or previous now currently dealing with. They're not in love. The person that they're dealing with is in love. Mm. Tell me 
when the three of cups is here. I tell you, this person is trying to trap, trying to trap this person. This person that they're dealing with, they're trying to trap them. They're trying to trap them. They're possibly trying to trap them with a baby. I'm trying to put them in the corner. Yep, King of Wands. Like I said, this person could be very attractive. They want to make something known. It could definitely be a child involved. This person could find out or is trying to find out or is giving this uh, energy of, yeah, I'm pregnant type of energy. They want to work. They want to build a family. <laughs> Ooh, what a king of wands. Yeah. The star, I'm telling you. They think that this person is just like... They think that this person is a celebrity or something. Like, they're the prize. I'm telling you, this person is saying that they're pregnant. They're trying to trap this person with a baby. It could just be rumor because I'm seeing that somebody just want to see what somebody going to say. Or to see if somebody's heart going to be broken. Um, mm, let's see why the Eight of Pentacles is here. Yeah, the person is trying to figure out what they want to do with this person. I keep seeing Queen of Wands. This person definitely is giving me fire energy. What a queen of wands here. Your person is trying to figure out what they want to do with this person. This person, your person is confused. Um, telling you don't be surprised if you see you you see something on facebook a status on facebook about a baby here i'm telling you somebody's gonna make a status i feel like somebody's a status is brewing like somebody's like well i just put it out on facebook Yeah, your person is feeling like they taking things too far. Um, this 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 person could be pregnant. But your person is feeling like they took things, they're taking things too far with this person. Tell me why the six of cups is here. Okay, yeah, this person is trying to get your person to move on from the past, to get over the past, because they know that your person still thinks about this. They have you on their mind. This person is trying to get your person to forget about you. They want to feel like they won. Yeah, ooh, ooh. The Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Ooh, they want to feel like they won. They want to, that's a play it. Play it, play it, play it as energy. They want to feel like they won. But, um. Gosh, there's a lot of playing going on. They will do anything just to say that they won. 
and bringing a baby into the situation, baby, that does not mean that you want. You just want more money out of your pocket. Especially if it wasn't planned. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. They're waiting to see where this going to go. If they say it. If they say how they feel. They're waiting on your person to do it. To apologize or say whatever they need to say to you. Hmm. Dang. Gosh. They feel like your person ain't have no choice. There they go with that spying. They spying. Yep. They they stalking. This is not even spying. At this point, this person is obsessed with you. They are definitely stalking you. Okay. Goodness gracious, they are stalking you. Like, I don't know what it is that you are doing, honey, but baby, you got this person feeling crazy. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right, that's some T T T T T. Okay. All right, so I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.